Hi, this is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Magazine, and today we're here with the HP TouchSmart TX2. It's going to be available October 22nd for $7.99. And what makes this multi-touch tablet unique is not just the fact that you can do touch, but there are cool new applications that include Twitter and Hulu. We're going to walk you through these apps as well as the user interface. And today we're here with the brand new HP TouchSmart TX2. And it's brand new because of not what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. And what we're talking about is that this time around, HP has bundled its full suite of touch-enabled software. It's called HP TouchSmart. Before, HP just included its MediaSmart software, but now you get the full desktop experience that you'll find on some of the 20-inch all-in-one machines in something that's portable. You know, this is a 12-inch convertible that you can take with you on the go. And as you can see, when you pull up the menu, and this is a lot more than just multimedia. You have, you have music, photos, you have Hulu, and what I think is gonna be a killer app for, for touch, uh, especially for HP, this is an exclusive for them, is Twitter. So we'll show you what this application looks like in a touchscreen environment. We also noticed that because of the AMD processor, there's a new AMD processor inside this system, that you are gonna get snappier performance than you did with the last generation TX2. So for here, all you have to do is just sign in. You can use the traditional keyboard or you can use the pop-up keyboard here that Windows 7 has. And that's another benefit is that the TX2, the, the TouchSmart software is working in hand in hand with Windows 7. So you can just start typing away you know, your username and password. I'll finish it up here so we can go a little bit faster. And then you have your password and then it logs in. And this is a full Twitter feed that's going to be popping up. And you have everything from all the latest updates. And if you do want to start a message and, and post an update directly from the TouchSmart menu, all you have to do is just click here and click on the icon for the larger keyboard. And you'll see an on-screen keyboard that will pop up on the bottom of the screen. And the reason why this has that is because this is a Windows 7 system. So this is Microsoft's keyboard running on top of HP's interface. So let's show you some of the other apps that are available. The, I think the second killer app for the TouchSmart TX2 is, is Hulu. A lot of us are used to watching TV on this application, but Hulu worked directly with HP to sort of make their application touch friendly, and Twitter did the same thing. So when you see the interface, you'll notice right away that this is not your regular Hulu app. You have touch friendly, large touch friendly buttons that are right here. You can click into a menu, and you'll see a user guide, a program guide, just almost like you have with cable that you can scroll through easily using your finger. So for example, you have here, you have house. If you click on an episode, you'll see a menu of choices pop up on the left-hand side. And then if you click through again, you can start selecting one of the episodes and start playing it right away. We have some a Family Guy episode playing in the background. But let's say we wanted to fire up this one. Just press it to start. Press watch now, and it starts loading. But what Hulu and HP did is that they worked together to come up with a more touch-friendly interface. And you can see here that you have an episode of House playing. You have a full menu of you know, resume play, video descriptions. You can pause, playback, and resume it at any time. And it's actually quite smooth. And if you want to go back out to the main menu, all you have to do is click the menu button. You'll see that the video will minimize. And if you were still playing, it would be still be playing in the background. And you can look for other shows pretty easily just by using the left-hand menu. So you can go click on Popular, for example. And you'll see a full menu of popular shows from you know, Fox and NBC and, and other stations. You know, so for example, if you wanted to click on Family Guy, you can click that. You'll see a description of the show. You click it again. You'll see all the episodes load on the right-hand side along with the description. And all you have to do is just click on an episode, click the thumbnail for it, and you can start playing. Looks like someone was already playing this one. And within just a few seconds, you'll see the commercials first, but then the, your favorite TV shows will start playing. And we like, what we like about Hulu and other applications within the TouchMart interface is the fact that it's always easy for you to pause the audio playback. You can raise and lower the volume in terms of percentage. And you have your battery indicator over to the right, so you always know how much juice you have left and how much time you have before you need to get to an outlet. Other applications that are coming over from the desktop environment for the TouchMart software include music. So if you load this up, 
you'll be able to play not only your own tunes, but log into different services. So you'll see your albums here. You can go by artists and genres. Um, but what's really cool is that there's touch-enabled versions of services like Pandora. So you can sign into your account and start streaming music. And like we said before, if you start playing a tune and you're in another application, you're still going to see that up here. So you can, it's always easy for you to go back in. As far as the UI goes, it's pretty easy, because this is a multi-touch display, to go in and out of applications. Plus, you can drag them down to the desktop. And you can customize this environment any way you want. There's also a touch-friendly browser. There's a, another photo application. You, there's notes that you can leave for other people, um, whether you want to use the stylus or your finger. And you can move these around and resize them. You can also get RSS feeds. And HP is working with a growing number of uh, third-party software vendors to create games. One of the most popular applications that's coming over from the touch part on the desktop is the weather. And it seems like a simple thing, but everyone wants to be able to check that you know, before they go out the door. So that's a quick look at the TX2 from HP. It'll be coming out October 22nd for $7.99. This is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Magazine. <laughs>